right, guys, I'm working on a little experiment with this. I have been wanting since last summer to try to grow some black soldier fly larvae. And uh, I watched a few videos and they just seemed kind of complicated and there were containers and PVC pipe and it just seemed complicated. So here's what I have rigged up and we're gonna see if it works. I've got a little container down here, plastic container. And then there's another one over here on this side and it's the only purpose it's serving is to just to give this something to prop up on. So I have this disposable pan and we've cut a hole in it. And then I have put this food that I've been saving in the fridge. It's nasty and gross and a little bit smelly. And I've got this little piece of cardboard. So the theory is that the black soldier flies will lay their larva or eggs, I guess, in the cardboard. And then it will go down to the food. And then when they get big enough, they'll crawl away from the food and go through this hole and fall into the container. So this is a pretty simple little setup. I'm gonna put this out side of my fenced area where uh, my chickens are because I don't want them to get into it. They'll eat the styrofoam. And the reason that I use the styrofoam container is just cause it's gonna smell, I'm sure. And I just didn't wanna gross up one of my um, nicer bins, but if this works, then I will probably swap this out and use one of my bins for it. But we're just going to close the lid, put something in there to prop it open, and hope for the best. I know that I'll have other, like I'll have flies probably come in here. The chickens will also eat maggots. I know that sounds disgusting, but it's a good source of protein for them. So here is my rigged up little setup for black soldier flies. So wish us luck, guys. We're going to try our best. Hello, chicken people. I have succeeded in growing black soldier fly larvae. It's been three weeks since I put my little contraption out. I originally said I was gonna put it somewhere outside of my fence, and then I started thinking, you know what that's gonna do? It's gonna feed a possum or a raccoon or a feral cat. So I put it inside my fence in an area that my chickens can't get to it and no critters can get to it either. And I was excited the first few days and I checked on it regularly and all I grew were tons and tons of um, flies. I had a lot of fruit flies. I started to think this might be a bad idea, but the maggots from the flies were crawling out of the food and going into the container. So even though it wasn't what I was after, I fed those to the chickens. They were perfectly happy with the disgusting little maggots. And so I just put it back in there. I, I think probably about 10 days ago, I really honestly forgot about it. Not one time have I added food to it. Um, I have not added, changed, dumped, nothing. I've done nothing except peer in there every now and then. So yesterday I came out to do some work in the coop and I, and I happened to just see it. And I thought, ah, you know, I forgot about this thing. I need to check on it. And there they were, my black soldier fly larvae. So I had a good bit yesterday. I don't know how many days they had been falling down into there. Um, I don't know how long, honestly, I've done so little research on this. I don't know how many days it takes for them to um, become soldier flies and fly away. So I might have lost some. I have no idea. But... I went ahead and got it out, showed it to my husband, and then I dumped him on the ground and fed him to my chickens. And after I did that, I thought, I cannot finish my video now because I started the first of this video three weeks ago, and now I have used up my black soldier flies, or larva. Um, so I put it back in, thinking it might be another week. That was yesterday at evening. So I went out this morning at about 11 to do some work in the coop again and decided to just peek in there and there were more. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around, let you see what we've got today so far. But if I can do this every single day, what what a success. I mean, I think I am going to put another container out. But I, I've done absolutely nothing except dump some food out of my refrigerator into a container. Uh, there are, if I can get this many even every single day, and probably a little bit more because, like I said, it's not been that long since I checked on it yesterday. 
that's that's a win. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Let you see what we've got. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hand In the way, there they are. The chickens went absolutely bonkers for these. I'm having to do this up on the porch because I was afraid if I did it outside and set this down anywhere near them, they would maul me. But people, I got what I was after. And it, it literally could not have been simpler. I say, if this is something you want to try, find yourself a safe little place to put it and go for it. Um, I mean, there was literally no work involved except the setting up of the container. Uh, give it your best shot. And guys, if you are enjoying our content and you are enjoying seeing our beautiful ladies and watching our chicks grow and watching us do projects, please like and subscribe and help my channel grow. And I hope you all have a fantastic day and best of luck in your endeavors. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.